I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Scheduled for 12. Able to land with the right. He missed with that headshot. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. 90 seconds to go here in this round. There's that right hand he scores with. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Roberto Duran. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Roberto Duran. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now. And he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up. And he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can. He's chopping at the bit. He's chopping. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. A barrage of punches now. Able to get rid of that one. Halfway through round number two. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Scored well up top. A great frame uppercut by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran with a big right hand. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Each man able to land an uppercut. And round number three is underway. And he ties up on the inside. Protecting his head well with his guard. Accurate 
see an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good, clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Roberto Duran. Halfway through this round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good block there by Roberto Duran. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. How about that exchange? Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Count down the final moments of this round. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Good way to protect the midsection. A well-placed left hand up top. Duran with a block. Duran's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Roberto Duran's left, working well that time. That's a stinging right hand by Roberto Duran. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was the slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Not much action as he just ties up. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Back and forth exchange. He comes back with the left hand again. Piercing jab. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. blocked by Roberto Duran. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, so better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Wow, a big flush blow to the left hand by Roberto Duran. <laughs> Halfway into round number five here. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, 
Wow, look at that. Trading shots. after catching one by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that bunt. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. That's going to be very hard to score. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And a right hand lands flush. Able to dismiss that body shot. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shots. Good work with the uppercut. Nice job there. Halfway through round six.
starting to grab control of this fight now. Look at Teddy's scorecard as we start round number eight. It was a close fight, but just slowly creeping away from his opponent as he extends his lead. But this is where you start to see the personality. You know, where you start to have an X-ray, a portal into the soul of a guy. What he's made of, what his temperament is, the decisions he makes. He wants to be special. He separates himself. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Roberto Duran. <laughs> that hook was well off the mark. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Great counter punch. I love how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Roberto Duran's really bringing a lot behind that uppercut. Teddy, how much of a factor is the lower body in landing that power shot? Well, it's everything, really. It's kind of like being a golf player where you get all your talk with that swing where you put your hips into it, sort of. The hips are going into that punch, and he's really bringing that trunk right up into the punch. do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. I only missed that right. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Watch that part. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Bunches and bunches. Combination up top. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. seconds into the ninth round. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Good defensive skill. Just knifing up with that uppercut by Roberto Duran. Duran's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Smooth work by Roberto Duran. That's classic counterpunching. And yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Duran's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Hands of stone with a rock full of right hand. There's the hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's hurt from that. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Punches 
and punches. It worked out well there with that combo. Yeah, you know, the early punches set up the late punches. Able to cover up that gut. You see him holding on. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Roberto Duran. Good return fire that time. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. What guts it takes. What commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been non-stop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. I'm sure as a trainer, when you get in a spot like this, there's extra emphasis of letting your charge know just what he's capable of pulling off. I look at your scorecard, he's only trailing by a very small margin here in round number 11. So the key right now, as a trainer, and you just touched on it, you have to remind your charge, your fighter, of why he's doing it. Things that he understood when it was nice and calm when everything was very understandable, when he told you in the gym, hey, I want to be champion, you gotta remind him of that and say, okay, here's your chance, here's your moment. Roberto Duran proving to be elusive. Duran's got a good understanding of how to approach this. He was rocked earlier, but you can see he's not doing what got him into trouble. Oh, yeah, that means he's smart. That means he's thinking there. Good for him. He has a chance of turning this around. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Very accurate two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. for that one punch. Well, and final round. Duran showing you a little defensive skill there as he'll move away from that punch. Blocks away that headshot. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him by Roberto Duran. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He missed that uppercut. Able to place the right hand in there. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Roberto Duran's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Roberto Duran stunned by that shot. And he just holds on there. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Just like that, things 
turn around, a back and forth round, both men, look at that, that's a heck of a stutter right there. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. He gets off with a combination up top. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criterion for scoring a fight is understood by the judges. Because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. He was the better fighter, he was the busier fighter, he's the fighter that absolutely deserves to have that unanimous decision go the way it did. And you never like to say this, I say it in jest, but this is one where you could have made up the scorecards before the fight. Unfortunately, sometimes these judges do, but tonight, it turned out okay. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, saying thanks for being with us.